think, I think I was saying that sometimes we try to evaluate our prayer by what happens while we're right. praying. And sometimes nothing seems to be happening in prayer. But then you may discover that in your life, you've actually become much more patient, much easier to live with or whatever. Something has been changed in you through the prayer in that sense. And other people can recognize it more easily than maybe you recognize it yourself. But to go back to Trees of Avila, Trees of Avila said, prayer consists not in thinking much, but in loving much. And this type of prayer is to bring us into that relationship with God. The same thing as Francis de Sales would say is that we meditate in order to awaken love, but we contemplate when we love. So the goal, the goal of this prayer is to be in relationship and to enjoy God. God wants us to enjoy his presence, to delight in his love for us, in his presence. So when we look at the Lexio Divina in a more formal way, when we go back to, for example, I think it was the um, 12th or 13th century, there was a book written by um, Guigo II called The Ladder of Monks. Now in that, okay, in that book, he sets out four stages for the Lexio Divina format. The four stages are important. Another image that is used quite often by the monks is that of a cow chewing the cud. And I don't come from a farming background. I haven't a clue about farming. But apparently, a cow has four stomachs. And the, the cud goes through each of the four stomachs. And it's the same thing with Alexia Divina. You're chewing on the word of God. And you're chewing on it over time over time. And the four steps, the four ladders, or the four stomachs, if you like, are called lexio, meditatio, oratio, contemplatio. Lexio is reading. Meditatio is meditating. Oratio is praying. And contemplatio is contemplation, contemplating. Now, to take those four steps. So the first stage with Lexio is reading the Word of God, becoming familiar with it, maybe getting a commentary to understand it better, reading with it, reading and going over it. And sometimes when you say it out loud in a group and other people hear it, it takes on a different, it takes a different meaning for you when you hear it being read or when you're reading it yourself. And something may strike you as you're reading it. Then you go into the meditatio, that's chewing on it. Some particular word or phrase strikes you and you stay with that. You ruminate on it. You, you keep going over it again and again. You may not know why it's appealing to you. Like my opening, for example, opening in the roof. I couldn't understand why was that appealing to me. But what it was telling me was I need to stay with this. And as I stayed with it, it made me realize I'm the one that needs to be open here to have the opening in this conversation. So what you find at the meditatio stage is that the word of God reads you. It's telling you something about your life. It's a personal word being addressed to you. Then we move into the next stage, which is the oratio, the prayer. But this is not prayer as we normally understand it, because as you said, when we pray, we normally have our agenda. We know what we want to pray about. In Lexi Divina, at this point, having read the word, having meditated on the word, which is now planted in our heart by God, that word, therefore then, through the Holy Spirit, is asking us to pray to God what God wants us to pray for. It's not our agenda. So therefore, it could be a prayer of contrition. I could be sorry about something, our repentance, it could be a prayer of praise or thanksgiving to God. It could be a prayer of intercession. You don't know what it's going to be, but having read the word, meditated on the word, it now is speaking to your heart so that God's word becomes your prayer to God. The prayer of his heart is then given to God through the Holy Spirit. And then when we pray to God, the next stage is there's no words. We remain in silence so that we can enter into communion with God. 
And this stage is very important because it may not happen, okay? It may take time, okay? But if it happens earlier, for example, it could happen in the Lexio, for example, or the Meditatio, that so suddenly you want to be quiet because you're aware of God's presence. You want to enter into present, to God's presence, to be attentive to his presence. Then you go with that. You don't follow the steps because the goal, remember, is contemplating God entering into a relationship with Christ. And the image for this, the image for this is that of Jesus at the Last Supper and John, the beloved disciple, resting on his heart, listening to the heartbeat of God. This is what happens at this stage of the prayer. In the silence, we're resting our head on God's heart and listening to his heartbeat, entering into communion with him. And therefore, prayer at this stage is to be understood as a hug. This is the real goal of prayer, to allow yourself to be hugged by God, to be held by God, to be loved by God. This is the encounter, the communion with God, that God who seeks us, we allow ourselves to respond and to be loved by him. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.